Hey beautiful people, how's it going? This is Sahil California Vintage and I have a video today for you guys. This is going to be a uh, Tennessee Goodwill Blue Box um, that I got probably within the past last week. Um, I kind of been out f not filming. Um, I recently got injured. I'm okay. I recently got injured but um, I'm still healing right now. And so I can't sit too long, you know, without the pain starting to set in. So um, I'm going to make the best that I can out of this video. And hopefully at least I could get a good solid 30 minutes. Um, but I've I've missed, you know, the whole videos with the jewelry and, sh and showing you guys and, you know, doing the unboxing and whatnot. So, um... I appreciate everybody who's reached out to me to make sure I was okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. You <laughs> know, thank you. Um, that's that's really awesome. I I love it. I love it. Um, before I dive into the the Goodwill Blue Box, um, Tennessee, the one that came from the state of Tennessee. Um, I wanted to share this uh, friend mail. Um, this came from a subscriber. And I actually got this a couple weeks ago, um, and this just made my whole week. This was just really nice. I didn't expect it. The best is when you don't expect it, right? And, um, yeah, it had been kind of like a, uh, a turbulent week, but I got this in the mail, and I was like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> so, um, Ms. Thompson, thank you very much. I appreciate it, um. I can't I can't state enough how much this made me happy when I got it in the mail. But I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, look at this. Isn't this cool? So here we have a clustered rhinestone crab. Look at that. I'm getting closer. Here we go. Now this would be perfect for my end of the sea project that I'm working on, right? Look at that. It's too tight for my um, um, my wedding finger, but and it's too big for my pinky. So I think I just you know possibly need to lose some weight. But I thought that was really cute. I like the detail on that. And she also sent me um, this necklace. Uh oh, I think my cat's gonna see this fluff and take off with it right now. Yep, there he goes. What do you... Yep. Sticky fingers. I already knew what you were going to do that. He likes those cotton... Um, cotton little pads in the uh, jewelry boxes. Okay, so then I got this cool piece. This is a very, very long gold tone. We have some faux coral, faux pearls. And look at this. It's a starfish. <clears throat> these these possibly might be Swarovski. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I don't know if there's a maker's mark on here. That was very, very nice of you. Very, very nice. I got to go get that little cotton back. Unless my cat is going to shred it. And then um, she sent me this. And I was like, wow. wow. You know, like, this is too much. So I am a collector of Betsy Johnson, more so um, all, all, all pieces I collect, but um, look at these earrings. Aren't these so cool? Look at the mermaid holding the pearl. <laughs> you didn't have to do all that. That's, that's you're such a sweetheart. Thank you. Look at that. So these are definitely going to my collection and I was ecstatic to get this. Look at how cool this serpent necklace is. Okay, bronze is on the prowl. Bronze. Okay, you're, come on. I can't move that much so you have to 
Okay, so I'm going to show this real fast before I dive into the box because I feel like I'm not going to last here on the chair too much longer. So, um, this is a serpent. It's encrusted with rhinestones. It goes around your neck. Look, it isn't that cool. I actually have been wanting this. I would see it and I was like, oh, that one's such a cool piece. So it was just like perfect. Yeah, and this is going to go in my collection. It's very, very nice. And then I believe um, you made this, uh, Miss Thompson. You said you made this. And every time you would come to vacation down here in California, you would wear it. This is silver. Look at how cool those designs are. And I'm the new proud owner of this piece. Wow. Look at that. Nothing like homemade jewelry, right? Look at that. That was very, very nice of you. You didn't have to, and I really appreciate it. Um... Especially with you know so unexpected and I'm gonna I'm gonna cherish these pieces till I'm I'm a little old lady warming my bed. And she gave me a card, a handwritten card. I love cards, and I said, um, I I save all my cards. I save all of them. So, um, was it the movie Magnolias? There's a movie. I think it's called Magnolias. No. I don't remember, but the mom would save the handwritten cards and, um, she just had them in her closet and she had like ribbon and I save all my cards, like my birthday cards, congratulation cards, whatever. Um, go F yourself cards. Like, it's just, like yeah, seriously. Um, I save all of them and I have, uh, boxes of that stuff. And so when I'm, a little old lady warm in my bed with my cats. Um, I, I want to read through them, you know. I'm sentimental like that. Okay, so I already had opened this box up. And, and immediately when I opened it up, my cat wanted this. You see this, Bronzy? So let's dive right in. Um, so this is um, Tennessee. I see some ABs right here in the corner. Oh, this is nice. Look at this earring. I hope we have the pair to this. Please tell me we have the pair to this. All right, let's dive right in. I'm talking too much. I'm being a blabbermouth right now. I think it's because I haven't filmed in so long. And, okay. Let's see. Let's see what, um, oh, look at this. Let's see what Tennessee has for us. I have not gone through this, but I opened it up, um, so then that way it would be faster to do it for the video. I took a little peek, but you know. Okay, so let's get ready. I got my little recycled trash can ready to go. So here we have this really pretty, um, prong set AB earring. This is cool. This one's really, really pretty. All the stones seem to be there. And um, let's see here. I hope, I hope the other one is there. I really do. Oh, Bronzy, you want, no, Bronzy, go. Look at this. Okay, so I have not seen the way, the way it's designed. I have not seen in person a brooch like this. Where the stones are sat in. These are faceted red glass stones. And then we have the crystals. But like how it's sitting. Like at a slant. See that? This one's still in good condition. I don't see a maker's mark. <clears throat> um... <clears throat> This one's really beautiful, and if nobody wants to purchase, oh, if you're interested in anything that I'm showing, um, not including my friend mail, that's that's my stuff. Um, 
uh, email me at SohoCaliforniaVintage at gmail.com. And yeah, if nobody hits me up for this one, I am actually going to be keeping her. I'm going to add her to my brooch collection. <laughs> Bronzy, come on. You're killing me here, Smalls. Go over there. Oh, God. Okay. All right. So here we have a... Let me see. Here we have a cuff. I actually like the way... See the design at the bottom? See how you see more of the wire, the silver wiring? I actually preferred that for the top. I don't know why they added these. But it's not bad. That's not bad. You know? Okay. All right. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, so this is actually very nice. These are smaller um, acrylic stones than what I typically see. I see them like, you know, in whites, blues, and blacks. And they're usually chunkier and bigger. Okay, you have to, you have to move it, buddy. Okay. Everything seems to be intact there. It's like a cranberry color. And this is the back. I thought there was a maker's mark at the bottom, but there isn't. Okay. Hope everybody's doing good this Sunday. Um, yeah, it's just been a past couple weeks, crazy past couple weeks for me. Just trying to get things taken care of and I'm just limited right now. Okay, so here we have a memory wire bracelet white acrylic beads and then these are like these um black and metallic it's cute it's really cute look at this cuff okay so i'm in love with it because it has a bird right there isn't that cute i do not see a maker's mark look at that oh that is so cute okay Oh, what's this? Okay. Ooh, I see some sparkle coming in through here. Okay, so this is a rhinestone necklace. This is actually, I like this design. Here we have the diamond. This kind of reminds me of a, rub a rubric um, uh, toy. You know, the ones where you have to match the colors. Okay. All the stones seem to be there. There are some dead stones, some darker ones. But you know what? I will take a dead stone all day, every day versus having no stone at all. I think it it shows character and it shows age. And I love when things show age. Okay, Bronzy, stop it. So... Is there a maker's mark on this? Okay. So it's a little it's a little tight right there. I don't want to put too much pressure cuz I don't want to snap it, but it could be, you know, that's pretty. <clears throat> Okay, here we have a, what looks to be as a leather band, no maker's mark, and it's a bracelet. Could probably put some charms right here, make, you know, razzle dazzle it up, make it look cute. Oh, girl, okay, I see you. Anitra, didn't you get some hoop earrings like this in your past video, and you said it reminded you of Around the Way Girl, L O Cool J. I I used to wear big hoop earrings. I don't go out anymore. I just, I'm a, I'm 38 years old, but I'm like an old lady with my cats. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> but I used to wear big, well, rhinestone stuff too, but always, always have my hoops. Always had the big hoops. The bigger, the better. I was like, yes. And so, I don't know. Maybe I'll just pop some of these in one day and 
head on out to the grocery store. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, look at this. Look at the AB on that, on the top. Okay, so here we have a, um, what do you call this shape? Like a bicone, bicone a charm. We have a flower. We have some faux pearls. And then if even if you're not like into the pearls, somebody could like just clip those off. They should have put more of these ABs. Oh, I'm such a sucker for AB. I am. Like, I would just, like, would want to roll around in pure AB crystals. Not diamonds. ABs. Yep. Okay. So, this feels like a type of a seed of sort. And it's black. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. How are we doing? 15 minutes in? Okay. Um Okay, that's not fun. Oh wow, look at this. It's a shell. That could go with my under the sea video when whenever that project's done. Um okay, so this is tangled up. I have to undo it. I'm not going to sit here and but here we have these really fun greens. We have green pearls, silver um faux pearls. These are plastic. They're very light. And then intertwined with this, we have like a... Oh, okay, I get it. This is like um coral, like sea coral. Oh, yeah, okay. And here is a shell. Really, really pretty. Definitely want to get that out because this one is super fun. Is there a maker's mark? No, there isn't. Uh, show everybody your paw. <laughs> Bronze is right there. He's just a little, let me see if I could. Bronzy, say hi. <laughs> pretty boy. You're such a pretty boy. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're not going to do that right now. I'll do, I'll do that after. Because I could be here all day, every day. So, look at this. Okay, so, I come across these quite a bit. These are the gold um, mesh necklaces. This one is in very good condition. Very good. There's no maker's mark. Hmm. I don't think this is... Yeah, I was like, I don't think it's gold, but it has that pop. Like, it might be real gold. Or a light gold, like a gold leaf. So um, this would be great to add any um, pendants at the bottom. You know, I'm doing this, and I haven't done it in a couple weeks. These videos, and I'm, I'm just, I've, I am revisiting how much I love doing the jewelry in the videos, and I don't know. I just, ugh, it's, it's getting to me, you know. But uh, I'm here and we're doing it. So here we have, um, okay, so this is a clamper. No, I already knew you're going to want that. Nope, nope, nope. He saw a feather. This is a clamper bracelet. There is some wear on here, but it appears that the top is really, really good. We have all pearls. We have the rhinestones. I don't see any missing that's visible to my eye. That's just, ugh. no, Bronzy, let go. He's attacking one of my jewelry pieces. So look at this. I have it on. I think this is great. I wouldn't probably want it all the way at the bottom because I would be afraid of the, the stones falling out. But look at how nice that one is. There is no maker's mark, you know, but... I'm sure somebody known me that. Okay, so here we have a copper cuff. I see these all the time, all day, every day. But you know what? I really like the I really like the color of the copper and then the twist in between. 
it's just a nice mix. Like something like this. I don't know if I could get it in my... Oh, doesn't want to open up. Well, anyways, this and then the silver um, cuff that was given to me would be a really good, you know, uh, lineup. That would work really good. That definitely would. <laughs> oh my God, Bronze, you're killing me over here. Okay, so here we have a single earring. I hope we get all our pairs. So, so far, Texas... I mean, not Texas, Jesus, Tennessee, Tennessee, you are, um, you're doing good. You're doing good, girl. And I tried to get some more blue boxes this past Friday and it was, it was so hard. I basically got like locked out. I came back in and it was only within a minute and everything was sold out. So I know a lot of you who try to get, um, the, uh, the Goodwill blue boxes, I even have a hard time. So there's no special dibs over here since I do YouTube videos. Okay, so here we have a like a like a golden bronze. Um well they're not shaped like seed beads. They're you know, they're rectangled, but they're beads. Oh, is that necklace? Okay. Here's an earring and it says amor love made in the usa no bronze okay i'm gonna probably have to go come on you're killing me here he keeps going after that feather i'm gonna show you what he keeps going after this this piece this looks like um i don't know if it was homemade but it has a feather And it has okay so sorry about that um my neighbor was pounding on the door probably just checking up on me um okay so here i thought this was part of the the, the choker necklace so here we have these little wooden um little wooden circles and it's on an earring that's actually really really cute Okay, so yeah, I don't know if this was homemade, possibly. I don't know if this could go on, on the head. That actually kind of would look cute. But somebody put some love into that if they made that, okay? So, um, let's see here. All right, Tennessee, last time I got a box from you, eh, it was like, eh, or maybe it was not that gravy. But, okay, so here we have um, just rope with faux pearls and this pendant. I don't know what this is, what this represents. Okay, so here we have some more earrings. So I'm going to put all single earrings. This has some wear on it, but this looks like, this looks fun. Okay, so what is this? Oh, look at this. So, um, okay, so this is, this is a short necklace. It's multi-strand. Really, really nice. We have silver, we have black chains. And look at the, um, look at the crystals on the side. Ooh, look at these. I like these green ones. Do you see how they're like rectangled? Faceted cut. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Who makes this? Who makes this? Um, okay, so I believe that's Vera Wang. Simply Vera. Yeah. Yeah, she makes some really cool pieces. I, I mean, I'm not in love with all of them, but, you know, she does come out with some, like, really fun ones. Okay, so then here is a, I don't want to call it a tennis bracelet. All the stones are there. Very, very fun. I liked the lining of the caviar beads strung all on the side. 
It does have some wear a little bit on this extender. And so this could actually, um, this actually is big enough to also go as an anklet. But look how pretty that is. Really, really nice. Here we have some bangles. Oh, this one's interesting. Look at, and they're all there. This one has the faceted black stones. Okay, so this this is a step up from what we usually see on the bangles. Thank the Lord because I'm just I'm I'm just the market is so flushed, flooded with bangles with these jewelry pieces. Okay, so let's see here. Here I have what appears to be like a wishbone. And it's, no, it's not a wishbone. It's broken. <laughs> it's broken. Okay. So then what is this? Magnetic bracelet? Kind of looks like a band of rubber bands. A white acrylic earring. A bangle. Ooh. Okay. So here we have. What appears to be, let me see, is it tangled? What's going on? It's not relaxed. Okay, there it is. There we go. Hopefully I can find the other pair to this ginormous seed bead earring. <laughs> the seed beads are like, boom. Okay, this is nice. I know we see a lot of rhinestones, but look at how pretty this one is. Okay. It feels very nice. Like a slinky. And um Yeah, that one's pretty. I'm gonna put this with the other rhinestone um piece. And okay, so here we have just a sway kind of material choker that's going in craft. Okay, what's going on here? Oh my goodness. So, I have this earring. <gasps> this is pretty. Look at that. I don't think it's a real opal. Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> you guys, look at how cute that is. Oh, I'm excited. Please tell me you have the other one. Please. I hope this says on the back, 925. Most likely this is a lab-created opal. I don't know how to tell, you know, if it's a real opal or not. Look how beautiful that is. Looks like a... Like a fire, a, a fire opal. So the back says uh, 925. Hmm. Uh, uh. Oh, wow. It's 925 with. M no, I don't think it's MF. It has these initials in the back. Excuse my nails. See that right there? So let's hope that the other one is there. Okay. Okay, so here we have some more hoop earrings. These have a little wave to them. They're gold tone. I don't see a maker's mark. Here's another um, hoop-like earring. This one feels really, really nice. And I don't know if this one might be silver. Where's my magnet? No, it's not. But it's in really good condition. Double hoop. Okay. 
before I try to get into this. I don't know what was going on right here. But here we have a pa large, enlarged pave ball. Some bangles. A hammered um, enlarged gold bangle. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, this is pretty gnarly. Let me see here. Yeah, unhook you. Okay, so this is one, I think, except for this piece right here. Please don't tell me you're connected. No, you're not. This is an earring. Okay, so that goes right down the side. So this has to be untangled, but as you can see, this is pretty much what's going on. It's a multi-strand. We have gold, we have silver, we have a blackened metal with these really fun faceted um, beads, acrylic beads. Um, okay, so it's kind of almost done. It's kind of almost done. You see that? You get the idea? Okay. I'm going to have to separate that from the other ones because it looks like it's going to cause a mess. Okay, so the white bangle. Here we have basically some gold chains. And I don't... This one's broken. See it? It popped right there. I don't think there are... Yeah, I don't think these are... Um... I don't think there's multiple chains in here. It looks like it. Oh, wait a minute. Because I like to save, you know, the chains just in case I need an extra backup. Let me see here. What is going on? <sighs> hmm. I don't know what's going on here. There's just a bunch of stuff going on. Maybe I'll use that for my um, Under the Sea project. Okay, so here we have this. It's tangled. This is T, I'm assuming, for maybe a college in Tennessee. And it, okay, there we go. It came undone. I don't know who this is, but this one's really, really cute. We have the black faceted stones. Um, this also could be interchanged, I would think, like on a different um, necklace. This is mat this material on the side. There we go. Okay, so we are on the move to find some earrings because we have some really... Trying to see what else popped up. Oh, look at that one. Bet you that one's silver too. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So we have a dollar sign earring. Okay, get that money. Get that money. Um, we have... Let me move this to the side. Okay, so we have a, it kind of looks like um, a snowflake, uh, but it's an AB centered. Look at this one. This one's pretty. This has some wear. It looks like it might be silver though. Mm, I don't know. And then this right here could be onyx, could be obsidian. I don't know if this is... um. That might be silver. Oh, look at this. How cute. It's a cloisonne flamingo. Flamingo? Or a swan? No, it's a swan, not a flamingo. Well, I don't know. I think it could go for... Looks like a flamingo slash swan. 
Really cute. Could go on a charm on a necklace. Okay. We have a peace earring. A little red one. A little red earring. Okay. So, you know what I need to do so I don't lose this stuff is put it put it on a The earrings I'm gonna have to separate. Ow. The I'm gonna have to separate on a just so I don't lose them. I put them on a little plate, a little paper plate to the side of me. All right, we're already at the end. I think. Uh, okay, maybe not. Let's just let's show what else um, the blue box has. I have a lot of little earrings at the bottom, so I'm hoping I could find that pair to that opal. Okay, so. Okay, so here we have a gold tone necklace. It's like that, um, like that snake style. Here's the fold over clasp. No maker's mark. Okay, here we have a gold hoop earring. Here's a pair of hoop earrings. They're gold tone. Really good, decent condition. Okay, so let's move these over. What is this? Oh, this is a rose earring. It's a cutout. That's great for craft. Here we have a memory wire. Here's some more bangles. Oh, here's an earring. Okay, I like this. This has a twist, like a French twist, the design. Kind of also reminds me of those donuts, those twist donuts. And then down the line, it has like this glittery line. It's kind of like a... Uh, a, like kind of like a rose gold but a very very light very very light here we have another bangle okay so here we have a clamp I do not see any names but you know this one's cute this one has this those different stations of the square faux diamonds Like a, what is that, princess cut? Oh, this one's pretty. Ah, oh, it's missing a stone. So, that's a bummer. That is a bummer because this one is actually a really, really fun piece. Okay, here we have a bunny. <laughs> that's cute. Hopefully we could get the other earring on that one. Your people who's oh look at this one wow so here we have an amethyst colored um faceted stones circulated in like a wreath style i don't see any maker's mark this one is um i could see the fire through the stones but you could tell it needs some cleaning hold on one second Okay, so really quickly, I try to give it a, a nice light scrub with a soft toothbrush and white vinegar. Um, the metal on the back is okay. It's the the prongs. Uh, I think I may have to go back in again, but do you see the difference? If you go back 20 seconds in the video to see this again, or maybe 10 seconds. Um, look at that. And I didn't give it a really thorough, but she has some fire. That one's nice. I couldn't just, I just had the urge to, um, <clears throat> to give it a quick little, a quick little, uh, scrub to, you know, 
to unveil to unveil its true beauty. Okay, so this rope is like uh, it feels really gross. Um, but the charms on here are great. I mean, I would cut this and totally put this on a bracelet of some sort. Okay, so here we have this is actually really, really cute. I think there were stones right there, though. And this possibly could have been a brooch and it was converted because this is like that um, 1960s enamel type of flower that they were using a lot. Oh, look at these. How cute. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that these are Betsy's. These look like Betsy's. The lips with the <laughs> the little stone on the mouth. The it's worn out the name on the back, but I'm pretty sure those are Betsy Johnson. Okay, so this is really really cute. Um these appear to be like the vintage Swarovskis. So I'm hoping we can find the pair. We'll find the pair to that. Here we have a um wooden cross. We have um, gold rings. Ooh, what is this? So I don't know if this was handmade or... But look at how great... Look how cool this is. It's like a black onyx. And I don't know if this is silver. And if it wasn't, it wouldn't make a difference for me, but... Oh, look at that. So it looks like we have chips of turquoise in there. And this, it looks like a brick color. I don't know what that would be. I think of a coral color, but it's a little bit deeper. Oh. I don't think this is silver, but who knows? I might have to test that out. Okay, so... Here is a silver hoop. Okay, this one's in great condition. Really, really great condition. And let's see here. So this charm bracelet feels like it has somewhere, in, like it just feels dirty. What does it say though? First, they'll show, okay, so I think these are the Ten Commandments. Eight. Tenth, thou shalt not covet anything that is that is thy neighbor's. Yeah, so I think we're missing though the nine. So this is actually um, something that you know these charms could come off, and other ones could be inserted. So here we have a wired wired earring. It looks like it's seen better days. Here's another hoop. A mini one with some um, black sparkles. Here's a bow with some crystals. And this might be Betsy Johnson. Hmm. It's missing the little thing. Um, oh, you know what? That might be it right there. The hook. So here are some chain, chain, um, gold chain tassel like earrings. That one's cute. Look at this one. It's like, um, what's the name? Liquid, so liquid gold. Okay, so here we have a bracelet which has seen definitely better days. It's, I believe, Alex and Ani with the unicorn. Yeah, this is Alex and Ani. It just needs to be bent a little bit better. Okay, here's another single wood earring. Here's an earring, zebra pattern. Get this one. Okay. This one has like um, a purple kind of an iridescent effect that's actually cute 
very very cute okay so i think we are let me see here i really want to find the other earring to that to that one we looked at okay i see a lot of single pieces at the bottom okay so i'm only gonna put a, a little bit because i don't want to lose any pieces okay so this is believe it looks like it was interchangeable like you could take that off the back side has an l and an e with an umbrella and it looks like two little girls it's adjustable what is going on here what is this oh this is fun so this is adjustable it looks like it's on copper and it's some sort of a coin. Napoleon M. Imperium or Imperior, something like that. So this is adjustable. I like I like um coin jewelry. That one's fun. See how how it's lifted. And then you see the frame in the background. It's nice to give it a, a separate dimension. Okay, so here we have clip-ons. No maker's mark. This looks like, yep, I was about to say this looks like Brighton. So this went to a buckle of some sort. Probably to a purse, I would think. Here's a face, a single earring. Maybe we'll get the other one. Here is a adjustable, looks like a little girl ring, pink um, glittery. Oh, this is interesting. It's fabric. I like the stitch. Oh, it's coming apart though. Here's another earring. Okay. I like this. I like what they did with this. Hopefully we could get the pair. Here we have hematite. What is this, a bracelet or? But yeah. So this earring fills, okay, wait, is it an earring? Yeah. This might be um, celluloid. It fills, it fills like it. Here is a gold. This one's really pretty. Here's a gold um, earring. And it has like the weave pattern. Kind of like the, um, what is it called? Hero ho hollering bone? Heroin? Okay, I'm going to stop because I'm butchering that name. Hopefully I get the, the, the other one. Ooh, what is this? Okay, this feels, oh, look it. Okay, so I have the other earring. Okay, so there are some matched up earrings in here. This one feels really nice. Look at oh, look at the rhinestones up at the top of the hook. Okay. Who is this? Carol Lee would have never thought. I don't know, Carol Lee. You're you're coming through with some pieces there. So this is Carol Lee. Oh, I really hope the pairs are in here. Because if not, that's just going to be a shame. It really is. It's like, what What am I going to do with one earring? Okay, so here's a single um, gold earring, gold tone. Look at this one. This one's interesting. No maker's mark. That's a big one, though. Very, very interesting design. I like it. It's different. Here we have a gray pearl. Oh, this one feels very, very nice. This is like a, a red glass piece. I don't think it's a stone. Okay. Move these all over. Ooh, look at how pretty this AB faceted one is. 
Okay, hopefully we can get the pair on that one. Okay, so we have an earring. Um, I don't know, maybe I have to really inspect that one. I don't know if it's wear, if that's the look of it. So this is a ring. Somebody made a ring, a purple ring. Okay. This one's really nice. I liked the the slits and the gold tone pattern. Oops. Oh my god, I'm already almost at an hour. Okay, I'm going to speed through this. Here's the other dollar sign. Okay, so we got the pair for that one. This one is actually... Oh, we're missing a stone right there. I wonder who that squiggle, that brand of that squiggle is. Okay, so this one is fun. Oh, Lauren, it's this uh, Liz Claiborne or I got to look at the difference between Liz Claiborne and Lauren Conrad. I think this is Liz Claiborne though. There's that pair. Here's some more earrings. Here's another one. Okay, so, oh, look at this one. This one is a pendant. This one feels really, really nice really smooth I don't think this is silver no I don't think so hoops hoops more hoops what is this oh look at this so possibly a pendant I don't think it's an earring but this reminds me of um Trafari makes I sold a, a pen a brooch just like this but it was by Trafari so I'm pretty sure the same pattern is Trafari, but it could be um, put on as a pendant. It just needs a jump ring. It has the green emerald eyes. That one's cute. Okay, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. Okay, let's cross our fingers that we find the other opal. Other opal earring because I'm going to be devastated to be honest I'm looking at the bottom bottom of the of the box to make sure okay so here we have a pendant it looks like there was a brooch right there it got broken off oh this one's really really cute we have pink clustered with rhinestones, rose gold finish on the back. Hopefully we have the pair to that one. Oh, here's another one, but it's a different style. Okay, so that's round. This is more of like a diamond shape. Okay. Oh, okay. So here we have a tear blue, full acrylic faceted cut teardrop. Ooh, look at this guy. Uh, you look like you're silver. It's a pendant and it's a... You know what? I'm going to have to test it really quickly. It's going to bother me if I don't test it out real fast. Let's see what's going on with this. Um... Let's do the... Oh, sorry about that. The bell, and then let's do the hand. Maybe not, but it's giving me the... <sighs> My stone is just, like, not that great these days. Okay, so we're gonna... If you guys don't know, um, when you buy these chemical testers to test for uh, silver on an black obsidian stone you can use 18k and it's, it should turn kind of like a give like a bluish uh, metallic color iridescent color let's see no okay i was wrong it's not silver it really appears to be like silver it really does just the wash on it. 
Hmm. The, this doesn't look... Oh, well, I should have looked at the back, too. It's still cute, though. It's still cute and has some weight to it. Maybe it was dipped in silver and that's it. And it wore out. Okay. That's that. Um, let's see here. Here we have a clippy. And this is Irwin. Okay, this is a new name I have not seen. Where is my loop? <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is. Urban, urban Pearl. Don't know that brand. But I'm kind of bummed out because I don't see another match to it. Oh, man, this lot is killing me. There are no, like, matches. And I bet you... Oh, here we Here's another... Oh, that one's missing a stone. There are no matches. And I bet you the lot that they sent out right next to this one had probably all the matching earrings. What a bummer. Okay, so this one's missing a stone. That one's going in there. Oh, Lord, look at this one. This looks like it went... This is a Rivoli. I don't know where it came from. All right, let's just... Um, see what we have here. So here we have a pink pink cat eye earring I don't know if that's damaged or that's part of the stone hmm oh this is cute so who's this oh, I can't tell but it ah oh, come on <laughs> I'm like oh that's cute and then it just went boop so it was a pair. Yeah, it could be. Mm, yeah. Seen better days. Okay, so here we have a basket of flowers. And here's, it's a pen. That's cute. Wow, look at this. Oh, God, it's killing me that I'm not finding any of the pairs in here. So who's this? Because... I feel like this one has a <sighs> wow Vendome. Look at how cool that earring is. That one's nice. It's Vendome. Wow, it's not gonna do me any good if I only have one right. Okay, I'm being a grouch right now. So here we have look at this earring. That one's cool too. This is a moon ring. Yellow designed acrylic. Okay. So this is a fleur de lis. Let me see. Are all the stones there? Yeah, all the stones are there. That one's pretty. Here we have um, a reindeer earring. I have one very similar to this by, I think it was JJ, the one with the piggies. Okay, nope. Mm. This one feels really nice. This might be silver. Has some weird markings inside. I have to test it. Here's a clip on. I don't see the match to this one. Here's a earring. Single leaf. Oh, look at this guy. And he's missing his eye. Okay, so this is attached with the earring. Oh, a bunch of stones. It was adjustable. Look at how pretty the back band is. Hmm. 
That's a shame. So this looks like uh, Leah Sophia. It's Roman though. The pendant. It's actually really nice. I feel like I'm looking into water with that one. Oh, bummer. I'm so bummed. These earrings are killing me here. This looks like a washer. <sighs> Look at this one. Wow, that one was cool. So the rest are singles. Let me see here. This one's really cool, but I don't see it. It's mate. Oh, look at this pineapple. It's a single earring. Well, I think that's it, folks. Oh, here's, I have the pair to this one. Well, I got that pair. Two of the little gold rings. Um, oh, this one's fun, but where's its pair? <laughs> Look at how cool that one is. Oh, darn. Oh, this one's fun too. Okay. I like that design. Well, whoever else got a Tennessee box, they may have the matching pairs. Wow. Look at that. This one feels like butter. Who is this? Carol Lee. Okay, girl. You. Wow. I have that other earring. Where did it go? This one right here. I wish I had the pears. I wish I had the pears. Oh, man. Okay. So, this is actually really interesting. Somebody told me in a video that the triangle shaped stones are called kite. And this feels like it's silver. Gotta test that. What is this? Oh my goodness. So this one has some writing in it. I can't read it though. Let me see here. Oh, this is Avon. The little squiggle ring. Really cute. Let me see here. Alright, I'm not fighting with you on that one. Wait. Look at how pretty this one is. Who are you? Get out of here. One Givenchy earring. You guys are killing me. Goodwill, you're killing me here. Yeah. I know whoever else got a lot. There's no way that there was only singles of these type of earrings. They split it up with the, with the, uh, with whatever, whoever else got another lot. Look at that, Givenchy. Can't do nothing with it either. Because I only have a single. A single, I tell you. That's cute. All right, folks. That's pretty much it. Ooh, look at how pretty this star flower is. I keep saying that's pretty much it, and then I keep finding stuff. This one might be silver, but I don't see its pair. Look at that one. I have three different styles of that type of... Look at that one. Wow. That's heartbreaking. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just like, ah. 
So I guess that's pretty much it. I'm not seeing any other pairs. Oh my god, look at how cute this is. So, oh, okay. So it's one earring. And then it you can remove this one. If you just want to wear this single. Wow. Okay, this one's really pretty. Look at that. Yeah. Whoever's out there and got the other Tennessee. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, this this collector, this the home that it came from, they had a very, very nice selection of earrings. There's a wishbone. Wow. Well, if anybody's interested in buying the single earrings, let me know. Um, I got this. Okay, so this is like an under the sea type of bracelet. Oh, this is cute. It's on a gold tone. Here we have a turtle. Look at how cute that is. A uh, dolphin, another turtle. Very, very cute. I like the iridescence. Very, very cute. Starfish. Nice. Very nice. Okay. I'm not going to cry over spilled milk. Look at this one with the Vendome. All right. I'm out of here because I'm getting, I'm getting so upset with this. You guys, thanks for tuning in if you made it this far. Um... Let me see, what can I have you put in? If you made it this far, I want you to put in the comments, turtle. Turtle. You guys have a great one. Um, once again, thanks for everybody who's reached out. And hopefully I could get back into um, the rhythm of uploading more, you know. All right, guys. Um, if you're interested in anything, email me at SohoCaliforniaVintage at gmail.com. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.